money is always a constant factor when buying an SUV or any type of vehicle. So, people can spend huge bucks just to get the most satisfying transport medium for them. But admittedly, a lot simply want an SUV they can afford. I mean, I'm among those people. The justification is pretty easy. I can't just buy something that I can't pay for or maintain in the long run. Fortunately, lots of good SUVs are present in the entry-level market. All you have to do is find which one works for you. And for that, I've got you covered. Hello car aficionados, this is Joe from Carland TV. And in this video, I've assembled a list of the best performing affordable SUVs today. I did not just pick cheap SUVs. I also assessed their overall performance, reliability, and driving demeanor. Before I start, I'd like you to ask a favor of hitting the subscribe and notification bells. They help the channel a lot. Now, let's get back to the video. 2023 Honda HRV. Full of perks and value, the 2023 Honda HRV is designed to appeal to the entry level SUV market. With a starting price of $23,000, the HRV offers an upscale interior and well composed handling. I've driven the Honda HRV and I found it to be a cozy vehicle to use, even in congested traffic lanes or tight spaces. But I do have to admit that the HRV doesn't have a mind blowing acceleration. Had this been the case, it would have raced itself ahead of its competitive segment. It's equipped with a traditional 2 litre 4 cylinder gasoline engine that cranks up to 158 horsepower. This is the same engine used in the Honda Civic. Fortunately, it has a stellar fuel economy. EPA ratings suggest that it offers 26 miles per gallon and 32 miles per gallon on city roads and highways, respectively. The cabin of the Honda HRV isn't that luxurious but I can say that it is fitting to be called handsome. The finishes and linings are easy on the eyes, while the amenities are just alright. Passenger and cargo space are just right for an SUV that's as small as the HRV. I particularly like the comfortable front seat. It has enough legroom for me to stretch my body during long rides. However, I have to inform you that its gear shift sits high on its central console. Some don't mind this design, but I know others that aren't a fan of this layout. The latest HRV also received upgrades on its infotainment system and other driver assist features. For its price, these perks are great. 2023 Volkswagen Taos Another capable entry level SUV that you should probably check out is the Volkswagen Taos. As the latest crossover of the reputable VW brand, people had expected a lot of good things about the Taos. And did you know what? VW didn't fail them. Aside from its superb fuel economy, the Volkswagen Taos offers a refined driving demeanor and appealing fuel economy. Its base model is equipped with a turbocharged four-cylinder engine that provides up to 158 horsepower. This is then paired with an eight-speed automatic transmission and front-wheel drive. It's also available in a seven-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission, which is partnered by a solid all-wheel drive system. Of course, these specifications may suggest that the vehicle isn't speedy, but for your daily commutes, it's more than enough. Fuel economy is where the Volkswagen Taos really shines. EPA estimates indicate that the front-wheel drive variant of this SUV offers 28 miles per gallon in cities and 36 miles per gallon on highways. These numbers slightly drop for all-wheel drive models, but the difference isn't that much. The interior layout of the Taos is a bit divisive though. Some aren't that convinced of its plastic components, while others feel that the cabin is just right for the price. Regardless, I can attest that its seats are comfortable. Matched with its user-friendly infotainment system, you can always find comfort when driving this affordable SUV. 2023 Buick Encore GX The price and performance of the 2023 Buick Encore GX are its primary selling points. It's a high-value SUV, thanks to its inclusion of different standard features and decent engine performance. With a base price of $26,000, this vehicle comes with a front-wheel drive and includes forward emergency braking, keyless entry, and other intuitive amenities. If you get the Select trim, which has a price of $27,000, you'll get additional features, such as remote start and dual-zone climate control. However, the base preferred trim is already good enough for most buyers. This model is something that can definitely recommend for those who want a great SUV without busting their wallet. Meanwhile, its cabins pretty much holds enough space for passengers and their cargo. 
Behind its second row is a 23.5 cubic feet of room where you can store your luggage and gear. And if that's not enough, simply fold down the rear seat to get a total of 50.2 cubic feet of space. However, keep in mind that its base engine isn't that exciting. It's only a 137 horsepower turbocharged three-cylinder engine. If you want more power, then you can get its optional 155 horsepower turbocharged three-cylinder engine. And though its suspension isn't ideal for bumpy roads, this vehicle remains suitable for concrete and on-road rides. 2023 Hyundai Kona Some buyers have qualms about the 2023 Hyundai Kona, due to its small cargo space and stiff back row. Others find it design quite polarizing. Regardless of your take on this vehicle, it has some distinct features that make it a worthy buy. So, how much is the Hyundai Kona? For starters, this vehicle is just $22,000, so it's really an affordable choice for a subcompact SUV. Aside from having an appealing price tag, it's affluent with standard features. The base model's front-wheel drive and includes forward automatic braking and rear cross-traffic alert. It's also equipped with an intuitive 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto integration. As I mentioned, the Hyundai Kona has a small cargo space. Its room behind the second row is just 19 cubic feet and only extends up to 465 cubic feet if you're going to fold its back seats. It's just a good thing that its front row has comfortable and supportive seats, and both the legroom and headroom are sufficient. Going forward, the base engine for the Hyundai Kona is already enough for daily commutes, but don't really expect that it can get you overwhelmed or excited. It only generates up to 147 horsepower and is paired with a continuously variable automatic transmission. The silver lining is its optional turbocharged engine that boosts Kona's power to 195 horsepower. This engine's coupled with a 7-speed dual-clutch automatic transmission. There's a more powerful engine though, but it's reserved for the Kona N. That machine heats the SUV with 276 horsepower and is capable of hitting 60 miles per hour in just 5 seconds. But since there's a limit on how much we can spend, the base SE trim of the 2023 Kona should be more than enough. 2023 Kia Soul You'll certainly love the 2023 iteration of the Kia Soul, especially since it's maintained its value-orientated performance. This crossover has a starting price of a little less than $20,000. This is an ideal pick if you're really tight in your funds. But with that price, you'll get several handy features, such as lane keep assist, automatic emergency braking, and an intuitive infotainment system with Apple CarPlay integration. If you're willing to pay more, you can get its mid-range S-Trim, which is around $22,000. More amenities are present in this vehicle, such as navigation, blind spot monitoring, wireless charging, and a bigger touchscreen infotainment system. Surprisingly, it has a spacious interior too. It can hold a decent amount of cargo without sacrificing the legroom of the second row passengers. If you fold its rear seats, you'll get up to 62 cubic feet of room for your luggage. By the way, most surfaces in the cabin are lined with hard plastics, but they don't feel cheap, so that's pretty alright. However, I did notice that the wind noise gets inside the vehicle when you drive it fast. Its base engine is a 2-litre 4-cylinder machine that generates up to 147 horsepower. Standard models include a front-wheel drive and continuously variable automatic transmission. Sure, it's not a powerful road beast, but it's more than enough to let you get to your destinations comfortably and safely. The Kia Soul is an easy-to-maneuver SUV. It has responsive steering, and the handling is downright satisfying. 2023 Mazda CX-30 Top of the list is the 2023 Mazda CX-30. Needless to say, it's not the cheapest SUV out there, but keep in mind that this is still an entry-level category. Its base trim has a price of $23,000, so it's undeniably affordable for the quality it offers. Right now, many SUV critics rank the 2023 Mazda CX-30 as the leading model in the subcompact category. It's not just a good SUV, it's a superb SUV. The CX-30 magnificently combines value and quality. It has an excellent driving demeanor and its handling is downright satisfying. Its interior is filled with upscale materials and finishes, which really surprised me, given its price. Moreover, it's abundant with high-quality safety features and user-friendly tech and driver assistance features. 
If you're going to ask me for a recommendation, I would suggest that you get the select trim of the CX-30. This is the next trim after the base model. It's only $2,500 more expensive than the 2.5S model, but it hosts a plethora of upgrades, such as proximity keyless entry, synthetic leather upholstery, and rear cross-traffic alert, among others. Believe it or not, its base four-cylinder engine can bring 195 horsepower to the table, which is then transmitted to its six-speed automatic transmission. An optional turbocharged four-cylinder engine is also available, further expanding the capabilities of the CX-30 to 277 horsepower. Perhaps the only downside of the CX-30 is its cargo space. Though it's a subcompact SUV, its cabin space is still smaller than some of its counterparts. When you fold its second row, it only offers 45 cubic feet of space. Fortunately, it comes with a broad size for easier hauling of your items. Overall, the CX-30 is more than what you can pay for. And that completes our list. Thanks for sticking to the end. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and share buttons. I know it's a chore, but it helps our channel a lot. Until next time, drive safely.